Guys, today I'm going to show you guys a couple of options that you can do to your Nexus 5 or Nexus 7 or Nexus 4, depending if you already have KitKat on it or not. And these options will enable you to show the battery percentage as well as the ability to replace your stock SMS applications, so meaning you have the ability of using something outside of Hangout. Let's check it out. The first step we're going to look at today was put together by XDA forum member Corregada. Hopefully I'm saying that name correctly. And this application enables you to turn on a feature or the battery percentage inside the battery indicator on your status bar. It looks like though that the feature isn't all the way baked in correctly into the operating system because the colors are the same and you don't have the ability of seeing the battery percentage till the battery fill is to a certain point. So roughly around 49% or a little bit above. And we can actually download the application straight from the thread and then uh, turn it on and then just uninstall the application. The application is not needed to be able to actually have this feature consistently stay running. The other app we're going to look for is the ability to regain your SMS application outside of Hangout within Android 4.4 KitKat. I'm not saying that the Hangout process of using SMS is, is not a good process, but here at XDA we like options. The ability to just have a separate option is always better. Let's go ahead and check these guys on the device. Okay, for the first application you just need to download, download it straight from the thread, install it and then turn it on. The main thing you want to know here is the interface is simple, turn it on, to enable, restart the device and it will be working. Turn it off, restart the device, that's exactly the way you take it off. If you don't want to just turn it off, you want to install it and forget about it, you can uninstall the application. As the developer says, says right here, the only way you can see the percentage is when the battery is down to a certain level. But other than that, um, it's kind of odd. It looks like it's a half-baked process installed into the Android OS, but it may be maybe more customizable in future updates that Google will push out. The other thing we want to be able to review today is the SMS app. Now, by default on Android KitKat, if you have an uh, SMS, you, know, you want to use SMS, you had to go into KitKat uh, in, into uh, Hangout. And the only way to use it was built into the operating system. What we have here at XDA is another option. Based on a 4.3 build of the SMS application built into the Cyan Gemind uh, ROM, plus some additional features that you can use. Uh, the developer provided us an application that we're able to use and it will replace your SMS, or actually, since in this situation you didn't have an SMS application prior to this and Hangout was handling your SMS, uh, you're actually now having an actual SMS application installed. So, uh, running it is simple. It has uh, the obviously traditional SMS logo with a smiley face on it. It has tons of customization, gesture, con uh, gesture presets, and different options you're able to use. Uh, sending and receiving text messages is pretty much the same. You turn it on. This is what you're used to using on anything with the Jelly Bean or Ice Cream Sandwich or even you know any of the older operating systems that have standard SMS. Uh, the main benefit, of course, is that you have the ability of doing gesture uh, writing. So in this situation, is I, I pre-configured this, so it says, sorry, I'm busy, I'll call you later. So it's more of a basic conversation or statement that you can write, and it keeps it in the draft form. You're able to set up all the options that you have. You go into settings in here, it has all the same sentence, you know, SMS enabled, you have to turn it on. And actually, just real quick, I'll show you guys. In the um, Google 4.4 uh, KitKat operating system, the ability to customize the default function or certain functions within the operating system is built in. The example would be here. Under Home, you're able, if you have multiple launchers, set which launcher is your home launcher. And the same thing goes with the SMS app. The only thing is it's not intuitive where they put it. It's under the More options, and it says Default SMS app. Currently, as you can see, I have Hangouts, and then it adds the messaging app once I have that installed. We'll cancel here. When you go through the installation process, this will prompt you to install to do this thing. Uh, the other thing we want to keep in mind here as part of the settings is, you know, delivery reports, split counter, all the major, major things if you've used CyanogenMod prior or you've used any other messaging application, but it's all built in and it's very nice. It does come default with the white uh, theme and I turned it into the dark theme because I like to have just a more of a darker UI looking. You have the ability to set the sound, vibration. I set it up, as I mentioned here, to the dark theme. It does have pop-up support, so if you're in an application and you're doing some work, it will pop up in front of you. You're able to respond and send the message without having to go into the messaging application. Very nice. This is where we set up the gestures. You just go in under templates, add a template, and then in the process, you can add a gesture into it. It has how to trick it off, and that's why I put in the S. Um, other than that, we get information here as far as what we see. You have full uh, time time scales, emoji support, and all you know, quick emoji buttons, all the good things. Overall, very nice, very robust text messaging application. Should be able to do and handle uh, everything you can throw at it. Um, and again, if you choose to go back to the Hangout process, uninstalling this application will require will trigger the process to be 
turned on back in the Hangout, or you can go back in if you just want to keep the application again. It's under Settings, set, you go into More, and then just change the default application back to Hangout. Hope you guys like the way the applications work. The first one is pretty simple. Installing it and turning on the feature is pretty much all you need to do. And if you're happy with it, just uninstall the app and everything stays the same. If you want to remove the feature, obviously reinstalling the app, turning it off and restarting, that usually basically takes care of it. The main thing, again, it looks like it's an early process or an early feature that hasn't been fully cooked into the operating system, basically because you get the white on white and you don't really get to see the percentage to a certain point. So it's nice to have once you're down to about 50%, but when you're at 100%, you just still have to bring down the notification panel and then you'll see the battery percentage. Uh, the other application really, which is the star of this uh, video, is the ability to actually re revert back or actually have another option for SMS and MMS functionality on your device, especially the Nexus 5. And as of this video, from what I understand, the OTA for the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 4 should be out already. So if you have those and you don't have the ability and you don't like having just Hangout, this application does very well. It's based on CyanogenMod and it's based on for Android 4.3, so it's very, very new in the sense of what the functionality of the SMS app does, plus additional features that the developer put into, into it. So it's not something that you won't be happy. I think you will be very happy, especially if you're coming from devices that didn't have KitKat. If you came from a Nexus device or any other TouchWiz or HTC device, you'll definitely notice the benefit of having separate applications for both SMS and Hangout. Let me know what you think. Again, these are things you could do on your device without needing root, so all of these functionality are built in. The ability to select the default SMS application and the launcher are very nice and welcome feature into Android 4.4. Uh, hopefully the additional features or more features will be brought out with the next updates that we can see and we can talk to. Hope you guys are having a good day and I will see you guys next Tuesday.